morning we are en route to a property in Chertsey to deal with an uh, infestation of spiders uh, that is reported to be uh, the false widow. Uh, the spider was originally introduced into the UK in the uh, late 19th century from the Canary Islands. Um, it's classed as the UK's most uh, deadly spider. Um, Given the level of, of venom that it can inject recently in the, in the media, there's been uh, reports of uh, possible amputation uh, and rotting of flesh. It's more commonly associated with the aftercare of a bite that's been um, become infected and then it was left to um, get worse and results in the false widow being, being blamed for um, causing the issue from the start. I'm just having a visual inspection of the property around window frames, um, soffit areas, looking for any signs of um, false widow spiders. A um, lot of cobwebs at the minute I can see. Um, as of yet, no visual sightings of them. Um, just need to make, be sure that I'm going to be targeting the right areas. Uh, the next step is going to be the residual chemical spray process which is going to be um, wall floor junctions um, you know, around the scoreboard areas, window frames and door thresholds, really any areas where the spiders could um, gain access or gain ingress into the property. Um, the reason for that is that once it's dry, it leaves a um, chemical residue behind. Even after the, the chemical is dry, any spiders or insects that crawl across that chemical for anything up to three months um, will also die off as well. So it just gives you a bit of a barrier um, and also knock down control. Well, that's the residual spray finished. Um, all rooms uh, have been treated. Start from finish took about 60 minutes. Um, withdrawal time now for the customer will be about two to three hours. After that, it's all done. Another successful job for JG Pest Control.